Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Tyler Weissong, and today we are going to be talking about how to sing in the passaggio. Passaggio simply means passageway. It's the place in the voice where you go from your lower register to your higher register. Basically, it is right smack in the middle of your range. There's a lot of different views on what this pitch range is, but I want to tell you how I think about it. Due to the muscular adjustments as well as acoustics shifting around, I put the pitch range of a passaggio at a perfect fifth. And in my voice, basically here, middle C to G. Depending on the voice type, that's going to shift around. If you're a lower voice male, it's going to be even lower. If you're a lady, it's going to be even higher. For a lot of women, it's really like this E flat to B flat. That's really crucial before you start entering in, you know, to these top money notes that are in a lot of songs that you ladies are singing right now. Because of the few adjustments that have to happen in this part of the range, it can be really tricky to sing in. Some people are able to muscle their way through it and it sounds great. But a lot of times when you do that, your high range suffers or a lot of times is non-existent. Then there are other people whose high range is pretty effortless but the middle part of their voice, that passaggio area, is either really weak or really squeezed and overcompressed, and it's just hard to sing it. So either way, ultimately, I believe that we want to have a balanced voice all throughout our range. So with that being said, I want to show you a really awesome exercise that I learned from an amazing voice teacher named Chadley Ballantyne that I think is going to be so useful for your passaggio. Okay, so this exercise is called the buzzy card. So you're gonna need a business card, an ID, a credit card, or something card-like. You're gonna put the card up to your lips. And you're gonna make this kind of buzzy sound. Now, I wanna step-by-step step just make this very, very simple so that way you do it as properly as you can do it. Because remember, y'all, it's not the exercise, it's how you do the exercise that makes the biggest difference. If you take your hand and you blow on it like you're cooling off hot soup, that's the amount of air you want to use. So you should feel cold air on your hand. Then add your voice to that. And then you bring the card up to that stream. And that is how you do the exercise. Then just start doing little pitch glides throughout your range. And I'm trying to let my voice kind of turn over as I do that. If you end up going to falsetto, that's okay too. You just want to start getting your voice feeling like it's shifting up and down this vertical. Once you start getting used to that, we can put it on an arpeggio. So I'm in the passaggio on this top pitch now, because for me, it really, that seems to be where my voice kind of shifts around and does all this funky stuff from middle C to G. So I'm on the E here, so I am in the passaggio on the top pitch. I feel a little shift there. Okay, so there we go. And that feels really, really good. I love this exercise so much. But then what you what you want to do is you want to start pairing this exercise, the buzzy card, with something else where you're singing, whether it's an, an open vowel or a ma or some kind of exercise where you are singing with your mouth open. So let's try this. I'm just going to do an octave jump now, and then we'll do a ma. <laughs> Ma, 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 ma. I'm, I'm in the passaggio, in the beginning of it, um, but let's keep going. Let's see what happens. Ma, 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 ma. And that feels very good. 
Mama, 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 mama. That feels really good too. You want to take advantage of how this sets your voice up, how it's setting your airflow up, how it's setting the vocal cords vibrating up, and ultimately it's putting us into a flow phonation. Which we don't always have to sing in flow phonation. We can use this full range of adduction that our vocal cords can make. But I think it should be the foundation of our passaggio. But now you can also just do a vowel. So you can just do it on a, on a vowel sequence as well. But then ultimately, you want to then use this to apply it to a song. Cause I'm in love with a girl that knows me better. Fell for that woman just when I met her. Took my sweet time when I was bitter. Someone understands. She knows how to treat a feather right Give me that feeling every night Wants to make love when I wanna fight Now someone understand me So that right there feels really good for me and it feels really sustainable. I like how it feels, I like how it sounds and I hope that this can do the same for you. This has been such a game changer for me in the singing in the passaggio. For those of you who want more of a systematic approach on developing the passaggio, I did just release a new course called Vertical Voice Academy and I have an entire workout in there called Passaggio Tribe of Mentors. It's really awesome. The course is a systematic approach to building the entire voice. It focuses on every subsystem of your voice to help build a solid technical foundation. I did just launch that course this week, so it is on sale right now and will be on sale through the 20th. If you want to check that out, I have a link down below. Now, I did just want to take a minute and encourage you today. Carlos Castaneda says, we either make ourselves miserable or we make ourselves strong. The amount of work is the same. And Mr. Jim Rohn always said, to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Y'all, there has never been a better time than right now to start becoming the singer that you want to be. You got this. I believe in you. Let's go. Thanks so much for watching today. Until next time.